Hi, this is Barry List of Informs. We're at the 2013 Informs Business Analytics Conference, and we're here today to talk about the Informs CAP Certified Analytics Professional Exam. I'm wearing my CAP, my CAP CAP, uh, just to give you a little bit of idea of uh, what it's like. This is kind of an exciting time for us. And uh, we're here with one of the first people to take the exam, uh, Irv Lustig of IBM. Uh, welcome, Irv. Thank you, Barry. And let me just ask you, what's the exam like and why should people take it? Well, the exam covers a wide range of topics in analytics. Uh, the Informs did a great job in doing a job task analysis to understand what practitioners need to do and understand to do their job. And it starts with things of business problem framing, analytics problem framing, understanding the issues of data, understanding the different areas of analytics, descriptive, predictive, and prescriptive analytics. Um, it's not an, just an exam on OR. You go then to model deployment and model maintenance. So all of those topics are parts of the exam. So it, you really, if you've been involved as a practitioner in projects from beginning to end where you have to identify the business problem all the way out to deploying analytics, you should find the exam very comfortable. If you're only comfortable in specific areas, um, you might find it a little bit more difficult. Uh, so you really test your experience as a practitioner in terms of d working on analytics projects. And if somebody came up to you and said, I'm thinking of taking the exam, what benefit do I get out of this? What would you tell them? Well, the, hopefully the, what we're looking to do with certification is to show that it helps differentiate you. Not only do you have to take the exam, but you have to submit evidence of your own soft skills. You have to show evidence of the projects that you've worked on. And the combination of the projects, the soft skills, and the exam itself um, indicates that you have some expertise as an analytics practitioner and will differentiate you from people who haven't taken that effort to actually go and get certified. So now let's turn it around on its head and ask, uh, if you were in the position of an employer hiring an employee and they came in and they had uh, the CAP certification on their resume, what would your reaction be? How would this help them? Well, often when you're in employment uh, situations, you get a big stack of resumes and you have to find some ways of filtering those resumes that go beyond just people's educational background and what their experiences are. And certainly if you saw that designation of certification as an analytics professional, those resumes are going to pop up to the top and it'd be the ones that you're going to vet first and look at more seriously as potential candidates for the job that you have to offer. And now to the nitty-gritty, what was it like taking the exam? Well, I found the exam uh, to, you know, it was good to go and prepare. Informs has provided this great certification analytics uh, handbook. Uh, the handbook describes what types of topics you know. It has 24 practice questions. So I did those questions first. It's got a few wrong, but still felt that I understood the breadth of topics that were there. And then sitting down and doing the exam, uh, I was able to finish it in under two hours. I know in the first group that just took it uh, the other day, um, you know, one person finished it in an hour and a half, and I think about 25% of the people needed the three hours to handle the 100 multiple choice questions. Um, I found it to be good. There were some questions I had no clue what to do because I hadn't seen that material in 30 years. Uh, there were other questions that were quite easy, but I know from my colleagues, some of the questions that I found easy, they found hard, and vice versa. And uh, final question, uh, any uh, tip that you'd give to uh, a future exam taker? Well, I really <clears throat> would stress that using this uh, certification analytics handbook is really a, a good thing to give you an idea. There's references and books that you can review to understand what's important for doing the exam. Um, understanding that it, it, this exam is covering this breadth of issues that you have to handle as a practitioner. Uh, it doesn't go into depth. You don't have to know a lot of the real depth math to be able to pass it. And you can expect that some of the questions you won't know. It's not about getting 100% on the exam, that there's going to be a score that's going to allow you to qualify as a practitioner, and that most people who have experience with doing projects should be able to do just fine with taking the exam. Thanks, sir. Lustig of IBM, one of the first people to uh, take and validate the exam and become a CAP professional. If you're interested in taking the CAP exam, visit us on the web. We're at www.informs.org. Thank you.